Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a today's button to a queue date edit widget. All right, so here's the example I'm going to uh, create. On this window, I have a queue date edit widget, which allows me to start dates. And if I launch the calendar, noticing that here I have a today's button. And if I click on the push button, it's going to uh, change the date to today's date which is going to be December 27, 2021. All right, so let me close this window and let's get started. All right, so first we're going to import the required uh, libraries. And let me zoom in a little bit more. All right, so from the Qt widgets module, I'm going to import Q application, Q widget, push button, Q date edit widget, and the layout managers. And to insert the date value, I'm actually going to import a Q dates class from the Qt core module. And here's my application class. All right, so inside the app demo class, and here's my uh, layout manager and the Qt dates edit widget creation. Now, if I launch the window, we have a date input field that we can uh, navigate different dates. All right, so this is not very useful uh, to begin with. So uh, let's modify the settings. So first, I want to display the calendar pop-up instead of the uh, scroll bar. And we can do that by referencing the set calendar pop-up method. And we'll set the value to two. And this will be a uh, pop-up. Now, if I click on the dropdown, it's going to give me the uh, calendar interface. And here I'm missing to this button. And to add uh, to this button, here I'm going to create a push button object. And let's name this as underscore today button. It's equals to Q push button. And for the label, let's do today. I'm going to assign the shortcut to letter T. And I want to add the uh, push button to the uh, calendar layout. And to do that, here I'm going to reference up that dates edit, that calendar widget. And this is going to point to the uh, calendar interface, that layout. Then I want to add the push button to the calendar. Next, I'm going to create a method to update the uh, date value. I'll name the method set today. Inside the method, I'm going to grab today's timestamp or today's date. And I can do that by referencing the queue date class that current dates. Then I'll reference the date edit widget that calendar widget dot set select date. Then we insert today's object. Next, I'm going to assign uh, this method to the today button click event or click signal. All right, so let's do a test run. So by default, the uh, uh, calendar dates is going to set to January 1st, 2000. And if I launch my calendar, and here's my today's push button. And I'm going to click on the push button to set the uh, day value to today's date. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.